Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 in KVM on Ubuntu 22.04. In this video you are required to have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO. And also in Ubuntu you have KVM installed. But if you haven't installed KVM you can follow the tutorial on how to install KVM on Ubuntu 22.04 which is listed in the description. First open your favorite browser. Then go to google.com. In Google search box type Versio drivers. On the search results page, click the link create a Windows virtual machine using the Vert.io driver. To download the Vert.io driver click on the link provided. Scroll down and you can find the download link. As you can see you can download the stable version or the latest version. For this tutorial I chose to download the latest version. The download process is running and wait until the download process is complete. The download is complete then click show in folder. Now drag the vert io iso file to desktop. Now on the desktop there are already two iso files, namely the windows 11 iso and the vert io drivers iso. Now open kvm virtual machine manager. Now click on create new virtual machine icon. Here you can choose how you want to install the operating system. Because we will install Windows 11 with an ISO image, then choose the option that says local install media. Then click forward. Here click browse to attach Windows 11 ISO file. Then click browse local. Then locate and select your Windows 11 ISO file. Then click open. KVM will automatically detect operating system like Windows 10, currently Windows 11 is not in the KVM supported operating systems. Then click forward. In the pop-up window that appears click yes. Here you can configure memory and CPU for Windows 11. By default, KVM will select memory as 4GB and 2 CPU. For memory I changed it to 8GB or half of my system physical memory. For CPU I didn't change it, 2 CPU is more than enough to run Windows 11. Then click forward. Here you can create a virtual hard disk Windows 11. For my requirement, I will require 80 gigabytes, so choose storage based on your requirement. Then click forward. Here you can specify the name of the VM. By default KVM detects the Windows 11 ISO as Windows 10. So I will rename the VM to Windows 11. And also don't forget to select customize configuration before install. Under network selection select the default NAT interface. Then click finish. In order for the Windows 11 VM to work perfectly in KVM, we need to make some changes to the virtual hardware. 
First click on SATA Disk 1. Select Disk Bus as Vert I.O. In Advanced Options just leave it as default. After the selection click on Apply. Now click on Network Interface or NIC. In Device Model you can see Interface as E1000E, change Interface to Versio. After the selection click on Apply. Now click Add Hardware. Then click Graphics. Select Graphics Type as VNC Server. Then click Finish. Now click Add Hardware again. Now click on Storage. Then click Select or Create Custom Storage. Select Device Type as CD-ROM Device. Now click Manage to attach the Versio driver you have downloaded. Then click Browse Local. Then locate and select the Versio driver that you downloaded. Then click Open. Then click Finish. As you can see, in the left window there are now two CD-ROMs. The second CD-ROM contains the Versio driver ISO. And the first CD-ROM contains the Windows 11 ISO. Now click Add Hardware again. Then click on TPM. Then click Advanced Options. In the model selection you will see three options, select TIS. In the version option select 2.0. After selection click Finish. Now click Overview. Then go to Hypervisor Details. On Chipset select Q35. And in Firmware option select UEFI. Then click Apply. Now click on Boot Options. Under Boot Device Order, check for SATA CD-ROM 1 and click the up arrow on the right to move it up. Then click Apply. Now click on Begin Installation to start the Windows 11 installation. In the pop-up window that appears click Allow. Here you have to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Here you can select your preferred language and keyboard layout and then click next. Here click install now. Here click I don't have a product key. Here you can choose the version from Windows 11. Then click next. Here click I accept the Microsoft software license terms and then click next. Here click on custom install Windows only. As you can see, here you will not be able to find the hard drive that you have added. Now click on load driver. In the prompt window, click browse. Then click on the Versio CD drive. Now click expand icon next to AMD64 folder. Then click on the W10 folder. Then click OK. Here you can select the driver for the hard disk. Then click next. As you can see, your virtual hard drive is already listed in the Windows 11 setup wizard. Now click next to start the Windows 11 installation. After installation, you will be presented with an initial setup wizard. 
Now select your country. Then click yes. Here you can choose your keyboard layout. Then click yes. Here you can add a second keyboard layout. Or you can also just click skip. Here as you can see, you cannot continue Windows setup because it must be connected to the internet. Now press Shift plus F10 key on your keyboard. Now the command prompt window appears. In the command prompt window type the following command. Then press enter. Now your VM will restart and start OOBE again. Now select your country again. Then click yes. Select your keyboard layout and then click yes. Here, just click skip. As you can see, there is already a I don't have internet option. Click I don't have internet to continue. Here click continue with limited setup. Now enter your name to create your local account. Then click next. Here you can enter your password or if you don't want a password just click next. Here you can choose the privacy settings for your device. Then click accept. Now click File Explorer. Right click on this PC then click Show More Options. Now click Manage. The Computer Management window will appear. Now click on Device Manager. Then go to Display Adapters. Now right click on Microsoft Basic Display Adapter then click Update Driver. Here in Windows Driver Update Wizard click Browse My Computer for Drivers. Now click Browse. Scroll down and then click on Versio CD Drive. Then click OK. Then click Next. Now the process will search for drivers on Drive E and then install the drivers. In the pop-up window that appears click install. As you can see, the display adapter driver is installed successfully. Then click close. In the pop-up window that appears click no. Now right click on Ethernet controller and then click on update driver. Here in Windows Driver Update Wizard click Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then click Next. Now the process will search for drivers on Drive E and then install the drivers. As you can see the Ethernet adapter driver is installed successfully. Then click Close. Now right click on PCI device and then click on Update Driver. Here in Windows Driver Update Wizard click Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then click Next. Now the process will search for drivers on Drive E and then install the drivers. Then click Close. Now right click on PCI Simple Communication Controller then click Update Driver. Here in Windows Driver Update Wizard click Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then click Next.
Now the process will search for drivers on Drive E and then install the drivers. Then click close. As you can see, all the drivers are installed then close the computer management window. Then restart Windows 11 VM. So that's it, if this video is useful don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions just comment down below. See you in the next video.